It is day 14 of Ernie's Whole30. I overshot, I overshot you. <laughs> really not that yeah, dead. Yeah, I'm really not that dead. So, what happened? So, I was like, okay, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of bloating, a lot of gas. It was like day two, right? Like right after you. Yeah. This whole time you had been texting me, like, this is normal, like, it did not sound normal. No, it did not sound normal. I'm doubling down in pain. Like, you don't think, oh, it must be my appendix. Because clearly I'm eating differently. So Sunday morning, I start getting these, um, it's clear. I hadn't slept. I am crazy feverish that I need to go to like an ER or something. I was diagnosed that night with appendicitis with emergency surgery later that night. Surgery started at around maybe 11.45 p.m. Uh, I later learned that it is not just appendicitis, but my appendix, my, my appendix have burst, and it's uh, gangrenous, what was the word? That ne necrotic? Gangrenous and necrotic, which those just sound like terrible fucking adjectives anyway. Yeah, I could have I could have developed sep I could have developed sep sepsic shock, and that's that 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 is fatal, right? So, so yay for that! Yeah, I'm not dead. And still here I am chilling inside a. And the NG tube is pretty. The NG tube basically helps me. So I, I, day one to three of the hospital say, um, they gave me like a clear diet. But then by the, I'd say the fourth day, um, I would start vomiting. I think we made a, the call to just put a tube from my nose, down my throat, all the way down my stomach, get all that crap and that gas and that, and just suck it all through into a pile of literal bile mm -hmm. that's sitting behind me. Um, I mean, the tube sucks to have in, but have you been feeling better since you got the tube? Yeah. The infectious component just coming down. What happens when you have an infection like this is that your bowels become a little bit dilated, edematous, and that's why you develop the obstruction. So you just have to wait another day or two for that edema to release itself. That's what happens to the bowel. When the bowel becomes infected, it becomes edematous. It swells with fluid. And because it becomes edematous, the woman, you know, goes from this size to this size just because of the edema. It's like blowing up a balloon. And that's why you develop the obstruction. So you just have to wait for that edema to naturally resolve itself, which it will. Okay. Um, and that's it. That makes it sound Way too simple for me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, tomorrow. Thanks. Much appreciated. And and now it just needs the swelling needs to go down. That's basically what it is. Once the swelling goes down, uh, it'll be back to normal. Is this is this is this too scale? It is. It, it's it's very shaped. Oh, it but hangs but like this. Now I know this was very unfortunate timing, but it doesn't seem like whole thirty caused your appendix to burst. No, yeah. whole thirty did not cause my appendix to burst. So the other crazy thing is, even when I was still reeling through that pain, I was like, I'm gonna still try to be good about that whole dirty. Hey, thanks for the company. Feel better. I always, I always appreciate the, you. Uh, update for the world. Feel better, Ernie. <laughs> I'm here to finish the job. <laughs> there, was a, there was a point where I was like, I blame you. 
you. <laughs>